find the particular solution of the differential equation. So we have f double prime of x equals sine x. And we have these two conditions here. These are called initial conditions. All right, let's go ahead and work it out. Solution. So there's a couple different ways to do this. Um, I think the easiest way uh, is to first you, you integrate this guy here. So when you integrate the second derivative, you just get the first derivative. Then you can ask yourself, what's a function whose uh, derivative is sine? Well, the derivative of cosine is negative sine. So here you're going to need a negative cosine. Because negative and negative will be positive, right? If you take the derivative of this, you'll get negative negative sine. So you just get sine plus c. So yeah, the easiest way is to integrate this one time. And then use your first initial condition to find c. After you find c, you plug it back in, then you integrate again, and then you use your second initial condition to find c. So we integrated one time. Integrating the second derivative, we get the first derivative. And now we're going to use our first condition. So f prime of 0 is equal to negative cosine of 0 plus c. And that's equal to 8. Right? There's an 8 here. Cosine of 0 is 1. So we get negative 1 plus c equals 8. Adding c to both sides, we get c equals 9. Okay, so now we plug it back in uh, to our c. So we have f prime of x equals negative cosine x plus 9. So that's our first derivative, right? So now we just integrate again, right, one more time. So integrating this thing, let's do it down here. You get f of x. Um, what's a function whose derivative is cosine? Well, well, sine, right? The derivative of sine is cosine, so the negative just hangs out when we integrate that. When you integrate 9, you just get 9x, right? And you can check that. The derivative of 9x is 9. And then we add our constant c. The last thing to do is find our c. So I'm going to go ahead and write down our f again up here. So f of x is equal to negative sine x. Just writing it again, plus 9x plus c. And so now we'll use our second initial condition to find our other c. So f of 0 is equal to negative sine 0 plus 9 times 0 plus c. And that's equal to 1. Right? Just plugging in zeros for all the x's and setting it equal to 1. So we're using our second initial condition. The sine of 0 is 0. 9 times 0 is 0. So we just get 0 plus c equals 1. Therefore, c is equal to 1. And last, and certainly not least, we just take the 1 and plug it in for the c. So the final answer is f of x equals negative sine x plus 9x plus 1. And that would be the particular solution of this differential equation. That's it.